to Dividal Flawless. In today's video, this is going to be part three of the Maggie Holmes Carousel swap, group swap that I did with Sarahi, Vanessa, and Veronica, who are Sparkling Ghoul Creations by Sarah and Lulu's Trunk on Instagram. So this one is actually for Veronica, and I'm going to jump right in. The first item we have is this wand. A wand was actually one of the requirements, and I did use a gold straw with mine and just wrapped like the little balloon strings little streamers that we use for the balloons on it and then on the back I did put a teeny tiny memory decks with me made with love by DDF crafts and I made that on my Cricut everyone basically has the same items I created the same items but they are all different in a sense with the themes and such that I chose so everyone does have the little party hats and I love how they turned out. I really, really do. Um, Veronica really likes succulents. I know she also likes Hello Kitty. And I believe it's Toki Doki, if I'm not mistaken. The next item is actually a requirement. So one of the requirements were for us to create a 3D or 2D item that everyone can store in their craft rooms. So this is what I created. Um, this is a popcorn cart. SVG that I purchased off of the Silhouette Design Store and this thing is chock full of a bunch of goodies okay I love how this turned out it's so pretty and again I did use items from the carousel collection papers and such but then I went in and made my own little items to go with the Hello Kitty theme that I wanted to do for her on these particular items. Also, each one of the ladies received variations of these bags that I made out of the carousel paper. And inside, just like inside the popcorn cart, it's just a bunch of die cuts and different bobs and ends that they can use for crafting, whether they want to use it on yet another carousel collection project, or if they wanna go ahead and gift some of these items to other crafters because that's what we do. So everything that I created for them were items that they can use in up and coming or to gift it along to others. And then the last project that I made, but there's a ton of other small projects inside of it, but this is the last bigger item that's in the box and I'm gonna have to open this up and go through it. Uh, these boxes are from the Target Dollar Spot and I just basically went over and redid them. This was like one of the best dollars I have spent. Some of the packaging is all over this um, because I did start packaging this up and didn't want to forget. So I absolutely love this. I did put the um, gold letters at the top, just a bunch of different die cuts inside and outside of the shaker and again i stuck with the hello kitty theme made some rosettes some gold stickles used some of the paper from the collection and i did make those paper flowers as well and i absolutely love how this turned out and on the back, I did utilize one of those mini die cuts that I created before. I meant uh, the mini memory dexes that I created and just put this on here. So I love this. This is what the inside of her box looks like. Okay, And I did make this little pocket where you see the Hello Kitty. I did make that out of a, a Tim Holtz die that I had. I love how those turned out and then on this side on the other side it's just a bunch of different die cuts so 
I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling this out so very quickly here are some items that I created and put inside of here all of these are handmade I mean all of the ribbons including a holographic one I did put some of those black and white newsprint type of clippings that I did a mini tutorial on my channel for and then I also made her a Hello Kitty bow and the puffy hearts are inspired by the Maggie Holmes collection, the little mini ones that she has. So I just made them triple the size and put them in the little book to fill up. This is another little project that I made each one of the ladies, just a different theme and variation of it. And this is a door knocker SVG from Nicole Silhouette on Etsy. And I just did some stitching added some ephemera and then did my own little touches on all of the ephemera and these are like super duper sparkly in person and then I did go ahead and add those little letters to personalize it for each lady that I made these for and I love the skate I just put some glossy accents on it to make it look like a patent leather skate and I really just love how this one turned out and then the bow I believe is from Alina Craft on AliExpress. Memory decks were actually one of the requirements so we had to make one memory decks for each lady but I went ahead and made two for each one because like once you start making memory decks it's kind of hard to stop so I absolutely love how this one turned out with the little shaker on it and the little sparklies and everything just kind of ties into each other at some way shape or form on the projects and I love you know seeing them all together how they all coincide with each other here is the last memory decks that I made for her and did I did use the wood paper from the carousel collection because I just thought it was so cute to use it and it's for like a carousel so like the bottom so I really love how this came out and I think I want to make more memory decks is using that paper it's just so adorable but I love how all of these different elements came together each lady did receive a tag I created all of this from scratch and just kind of put my own little spin on it so it's like a little mini loaded tag I did add tickets inside of it but again this is something that they can reuse re-gift um, or add more to it but I just love the collection of the two different papers and then adding a little tickets to it which is really really cute and I love how it turned out I just wanted to get them filmed really for myself so I can go back and take a look and get re-inspired if I have to revisit this collection for any other swaps. So that's all. I hope you all saw something that inspired you. Please be sure to thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe if you have not. And I'll see you in the next video. As always, and until next time, have a great day, Dallas Mooches. Bye.